Hello and welcome! I'm Scatterbrain and this is Death Road to Canada. So, I haven't really played a game on the channel in a while. I've been busy. Work sucks. But, I, I've tried to play a racing game, no one really watched it, so I thought maybe this would be more fun for you guys to watch. It's Death Road to Canada. It's kind of like, I don't know, the Oregon Trail mixed with zombies. You're gonna die a lot. I have actually beaten all the modes except for familiar characters mode. Uh, that is, that has taken actually a lot of time. Well, ignore that. I can't beat that. But, uh, I, I, uh, I never really made characters before. That's kind of why I didn't complete it. Makes sense. But I have now. So, I, I basically was being lazy and now I've decided because I can't beat the hard mode, I, I'd make characters. And, uh, I made... I made basically a bunch of people I, I played games with on my channel, and also my two cats. So, me here, I am a car nut and inventive. My cat Izzy is uh, an explorer, and she's also paranoid, because that's my cat in a nutshell. My other cat, Tracy, is, uh, I don't know, she, honestly the cat's just weird. So I gave her healthcare and practical, because she likes to clean her fur, and she hasn't gotten in any trouble yet. Uh, my other, my brother here, Aaron, is uh, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, and uh, he is a friend of dog. I mean, I, he kind of has a dog, but he, he, it would be more friend of cat, but they don't have cats in this game. And he's also oblivious, because Aaron is oblivious. John is, uh, I don't know, Cyclops, basically. So I made him a fighter and resilient. I didn't really, I didn't really have a plan for John. And he kind of just turned out looking like Cyclops, so I was like, all right, fighter and resilient, let's do that. So now Yankee, I haven't actually ever seen a picture of Yankee, so this is just what I imagine uh, Yankee looks like. Uh, you know, the white coat, purple shirt, and green pants. Uh, the pink mustache, you know, like the Barkiplier mustache. Goes well with everything. Uh, pink hair, and of course a bowler. And also the derpiest eyes ever. It's like that, it's like the Mushroom. He, uh, his, his, uh... His Minecraft skin. It's got derpy eyes. Now, Faye is uh, a, a cowgirl. I don't know. I don't even know if she likes pink, but I made her all pink. Uh, she's a gun a gungeoneer, and she's not supposed to be irritating. Why does it say irritating? Hold on. She's nurturing. That's what it's supposed to say. Let's save that. Yeah, I figured that fit her well. I, I, f I think she likes guns. I would imagine she likes guns. Uh, Dogface Boy. I've also never seen a picture of Dogface Boy, obviously. And, uh, so I just made him the most ridiculous thing I could. Uh, purple skin, purple outfit, and the, uh, blue hair. Because why not? Uh, he's also got a trademark weapon and a calm under fire. So, we are going to actually start the game now. Let's, let's do that. I heard rumors that a, Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. Well, let's do it! Why, why waste time? Oh, let's look at our stats real quick. Uh, I have very high wits. That's probably questionable. A uh, good mechanical and a decent morale. That's not bad. And Izzy has a bad attitude. That is... <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, spot on. Uh, pretty High wits, that's pretty spot on too. My cat is too smart for its own good. And uh, a pretty good morale. Yeah, that fits. Alright, so let's go. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. Alright. Um... Quiet hotel. Eh, let's just go to the Yalmart. That probably has most of the best stuff. At least food. We do need food. What do I have? A cane. Ooh. Am I old? I mean, I do look a little creepy. The the trucker hat and the trench coat and the weird... I, I don't... I don't really like my character, I'm gonna be honest. I should probably change that. I don't really look that good. Alright, let's just get into the Yalmart. Totally not Walmart. And grab all the food. I, I figured this is probably the best place for food. Oh, there's even guns. Uh, or bullets, I mean. There's no guns. Oh, uh, neither of us have weapons. Cool. I'm gonna grab this, uh... Screw oh, she has a weapon. I think she just picked up a stick. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this. Yeah. Death to all those things. Uh, I don't know. What, it, what do I have? A screwdriver. Alright. That's gonna go well. Give me this baseball bat. Oh, gosh. Don't get hit, though. I don't, I don't need to die off the bat. Let's not do that. There are some side rooms around here. I think I've probably cleared off most of the food here. I'm just gonna throw that. Just hit those zombies. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 shopping carts are ridiculous in this game. They they go through zombies. They're actually really good. They're really good to pick up. I missed that. Kill that. There we go. And they do kill things in one hit. It's really nice. 
So actually, that would that's kind of what makes the Yalmar pretty easy, too, because the shopping carts are around. You don't really need the best weapons right off the bat, but I do want that gas. Get, just go away, please. Knife. I don't know if this is better than the baseball bat, but it probably won't break as easy. Uh, you know what? Give me this shopping cart. It broke. Well, that helped. I think I saw one more door over there, so let's go check that out. I don't see anything on the shelves, so... This place has obviously been looted pretty well. They have hearts on their back. Oh, they were the Yalmar employees! Oh, that kind of sucks. You got transformed into a zombie at work. It's got to be the worst place to die. You're just stuck in there because you don't know how to use a door. I mean, actually, these are probably pressure sensitive. I don't know. The electricity is probably not working. They, they couldn't get out. They're stuck in there forever. You know, I just walked in pretty easily. Let's get out of here before I die. <laughs> I don't want to die on the first go. All right, I got a pretty good amount of stuff. Definitely gas. I don't know. I don't remember how much gas this thing, this, uh, this car takes. Uh, the group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Izzy looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Uh-oh. Well, I have pretty good, good mechanicals, so I should be able to hotwire a golf car, uh, ball collector. It's surprisingly effective. By the time the collector breaks down, most of the zombies are taken care of. Hey, and my, and my mechanical increased. Sweet. And morale increased. And we only lost four food, which is no normal amount, so I don't know why I'm excited about that. A deer has stopped in the middle of the road. It stares at the car. Do I run it over or leave it alone? It could be food. It could kill my car, but I have a pretty good car, I think. Jesse slams on the gas and crashes the car through the deer. The group doesn't know m much about preserving game, but they clumsily cook meat to pack it into the car. Hey, that's pretty good. I took some damage, obviously. But I'm not dead yet. It's only the second day, though. The group drives through a city that hasn't been completely overrun. They should look for supplies to stock up for the journey. Near noon, uh, sluggish and mild. All right. Pharmacy or police station. The police station has weapons. Right now, we're not hurt. I mean, that's a short-sighted approach, maybe, but... <laughs> I'd prefer guns right now, and the police station should have guns. I mean, it's probably been looted pretty well, but I hope there's at least a pistol in there. But first, let's loot all the places around. I, I need I need all the stuff. I I'm actually I'm quite poor right now. I, is he? Is is he? What are you What are you doing? You could have walked around the zombie. He uh he wasn't moving very quickly. I'll be honest. So, where is this police station? Oh, it's right there. Well, answering my own questions pretty quickly. I'm just gonna grab, ooh. Wait, hey, that was mine. Jerk, I'm gonna hit these guys with my purse. I, I didn't throw it at them. I don't know why I picked up a purse. Uh, can I have my, can I have my baseball bat back, please? You don't even have a weapon? What do you, why, why don't you even have a weapon? What have you even been doing this whole time? So there's really not very much in this house. I haven't I haven't come across very much. Get away from me. I know I'm walking right into you like an idiot, but get away from me. I haven't really found very much. What have I what have I found so far? Uh five food. I mean, okay, that's not bad. I found 12 bullets. But hopefully the police station is something good. I I need I need guns, batons, anything like that. Oh, get away from me. Z zombies. Why are there so many people in the police station? This is not really... I mean, how many people are normally in a police station at, at, at one time? This seems like an excessive amount of police is, is all I'm really saying. I kind of want these bombs. Uh, What do I... Ha okay. You know what? I don't need the knife at all. Let's just get rid of the knife here. Yeah. Izzy, you want a shiv? Grab a shiv. There you go. <laughs> Also, let's not accidentally throw the gun, or the, the whatchamacallit, the bombs, because I did that last night playing game, and on, on hard mode, uh, I was actually doing decent, and uh, I accidentally threw a bomb, or a molotov, and uh, killed the whole party. It, uh, I was really happy. Uh, guess, guess how happy I was. It was a lot, but <laughs> it's all right. We're doing okay now. I mean, it's only the second day. And uh, Izzy's over here shiving people. That honestly sounds like my cat. My cat wakes me up by batting me in the face just lightly enough with her claws that I wake up. Not hard enough to scratch me. She's never scratched me. But she does it just hard enough to make sure I get up so that I can feed her. Or sometimes 
Sometimes, honestly, the cat has a full food bowl when I come downstairs to feed her and a full water bowl. She's just doing it to bug me. My cat is evil, but sometimes it's funny too. I don't know. It's not bad. She actually, she only does it when my alarm goes off. So when, when my, when my alarm goes off for work, she wakes me up, basically. So I can't be that mad about it. I, I haven't really been late to work since I got this cat. She's just like, you know what? I don't care if my food bowl is full. You're up now. But we escaped that place with pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, 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 pole there. Uh, I, we, we didn't, we didn't do too bad. The group sets up camp at the safe place they can find around abandoned mini golf. Really? Really? Why the mini golf? Why, why are you guys so interested in golf? Also, my fitness increased, so I guess it wasn't that bad. Uh, and I think we picked up a putter or something. I, I'm not sure. I thought, I think it said we picked up a golf club. The group gets a rare peaceful moment to relax on an apartment roof. All right. That's a weird place. I mean, you really want to risk dying to that? There's some time to talk and someone reveals a lot about themselves. Uh, okay, who do we know less about? Uh, well, we know an equal amount about each one. So, I guess me. That'll pretty much, yeah, okay, it re reveals everything. Jeez. I have no strength, no shooting, not great fitness, uh, no medical. Hey, I have a decent attitude. That's kind of true. <laughs> And, uh, hey, I have a decent loyalty, but my composure is great. Okay, I could talk my way out of some stuff. That's, uh, also occasionally true. Outside of Kanemos, society and civilization, civilization, did I say that correctly? Probably not, has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, which preserve food being the new current. Oh, it's a trader camp. I could have looked down for that. I probably should have, but hey, why not just read the whole thing? Hey, green mustache guy. This man is carrying several shotguns, most of them lashed to his back. He's booming out a simple and effective sales pitch. Shotguns for sale! Shotguns for sale! You have 20 food. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll find one, don't worry. So speaking of my cat being the most evil thing ever, she just made a noise that made it sound like somebody was knocking on my door. And of course I'm wearing headphones, so I can't really hear anything. So I thought somebody was knocking on my door. It's like 10 o'clock at night, and I live in the middle of nowhere. So hopefully someone was not knocking on my door. Now I'm just like worried someone's at my house. But anyway, let's talk to this dog. The group finds a dog surrounded by a bunch of ammo. The dog speaks, welcome to Ammo Emporium. Everything must go. Uh, offers five bullets, four rifle ammo, and three shotgun shells per, fo per food item? I mean, I, I don't have any guns, but... Also, my whole stats, jeez. I don't have any gun, well, I, I guess I have pistol. Is that worth 10 food though? Five food, maybe? Yeah, let's do five food. I only use four food a day, it's not too bad. We only have two people thus far, so. That's, that's a pretty good, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not upset about that. <laughs> uh, lady with a spear. The group meets a man wielding, oh, it's a man with a spear. I'm sorry. <laughs> A homemade spear. Despite being a knife tied to a stick, it seems like it would be a really effective weapon. It would also probably break easily. Tactical spear. For, I, I don't really have any more food to trade at this point. I have 15 food. I'm gonna. Oh, I talked I talk to this guy. I have 15 food. It's not really worth trading anything else. I'm surprised there's no characters for me to pick up. I don't know that I would really have the money to pick any of them up. Is this Yankee? Yankee, come on, man. <laughs> All right, so there was a character. Yankees on the journey. Don't die. That's all I ask. You can do anything else, but don't, well, also don't steal and don't kill me or the cat. But <laughs> don't die, please. You have a terrible, uh, hey, Tracy, too. Well, you're coming along. <laughs> Just picking up everybody. I can't pick up everybody, so I might have to make some tough decisions later on on who's go going and who's staying, but just so you know, I'm staying. Siege alert. Well, now it's a good thing I have four people, but no food. That's an issue. I'm going to put that there. I don't want to bring those along, but I am going to bring the gun just in case. It shouldn't be too hard. It's early on thus far, so. Uh, purse. Let's go there. I might give Yankee the purse, honestly. Yeah, Yankee's, Yankee's got the purse now. Tracy, you get a golf club. Actually, Izzy, you also get a golf club. 
Yankee, even though I gave you a purse and you should use that, you get a golf club. <laughs> Everybody live. Ah, oh, look at all the golfers. Look at them. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Oh, there's a pistol right there. Look at that. Glad we came here forcefully by by definitely our own our, our own decision. This was not something we had to do. I don't understand why we got out of the car. Why was there a siege? What was going on that we needed to get out of the car? Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. But either way, everybody live, please. That's all I ask. Don't die. If you die, I'm leaving you behind. You don't have a choice. I'm not. I'm not saving your body. You're not getting a. You're not getting a hero, hero's. A hero's burial. Bury, burial. I, I, I think I said that right. But I, but I may have not. <laughs> Either way, you are going to be eaten by zombies. So let that be your deterrent. The the desire to not get eaten by zombies because there there really is none other besides that. Uh, Izzy's Izzy's knife, or uh, or uh, or I'm sorry, her her uh, uh, golf club broke. Did I check this room? I did check that room. Duh. Anyway, guys, let's get out of here. Die. Just just to finish you off. Because I'm mad at you. Yeah, seriously, why did we get out of the car to check out that little hut? Yeah, let's hit the road. We are pretty good on supplies. I do actually have 20 food now. I don't know where that came from, but I have it. Uh, ooh, okay, so we feel inspired that we managed to survive the situation. Okay. Uh, strength? Yankee, Yankee, you want a full heal? Dude, you're at full health. Calm the hell down. Uh, well, that's not useful either because we're at full health. Hey, let's just get, just do strength because everybody could use strength, I bet. Oh, yeah. We're all weak as hell. And I earned a zombie point. 